Del Hollow are full of smallmouth. They are a challenge, that's why I love them. Just a good old boy. <laughs> Why the floating fly, Lee? Why are you so crazy about this? I have some friends who, who taught me a lot. Um, and I mean, I enjoy shiner fishing, but there's still part of me that would much rather take one with a lure. What kind of fly is that? This one is a craft hair, and that's a punisher head. I think the term fly comes from back in the day, uh, the smallmouth anglers down here in Cumberland and Del Hollow would throw an old uh, you know, deer hair jig, a little bucktail jig with a pork tail with a pork trailer, and it was called the Flying Rye. So uh, anything that's made out of craft hair or whatever here in Kentucky, Tennessee area is called a fly. So on this particular rig, you've got just basically braided line, mm -hmm. a three-way swivel with a bobber. Three-way swivel, and that gives you gives more action to the fly um, and makes it easier to cast. Mm -hmm. And uh, what kind of line do you have this on your rig? This is fluorocarbon, four-pound fluorocarbon leader. The lightest line you can get away with, the more bite you're going to get. You've got me about five, maybe five feet a liter, and you're going about 10 foot deep. So you're just trying to find where they are. But what's that stuff you're putting on there? You call that's, it dope, but I mean, what is it? That's, uh, that's just the, the term that's evolved to describe it. Basically, it's Vaseline that's been heated up and boiled. You can see it's got scent. I like the shad scent. Some people like the garlic. There's a crawfish scent. They're, they're, they're all good. Um, and this has a few little glitters in it. I've just had more success when I've painted the thing down and just put it on there as thick as paint. It gives me confidence to use it. Let me see your confident look. Ah! <laughs> my ball, I just first name, O-S-C-A-R. Yes. that about it, fish can smell. Anything that could cover over human scent, you don't want them doing, hmm. Especially leaves. I, I smell Doritos. <laughs> You know, these quality, these big size smallmouth like this, they're here, but you don't catch them every day. Now, there are times you come down here and just wear them out, and there are times you don't. They are a challenge, that's why I love them. Um, they are the hardest uh, black bass to catch, especially in a lake environment. I've put in my time here. I mean, I have come down here and been so cold, I thought my teeth would crack in half because they were chattering so hard and not had a bite all day. But what I'm doing is just basically giving that uh, lure a little bit of just a little bit of motion but the idea is just to just to make it look like a what would you call it a dying or injured or even just just a little bait fish moving along so if, if a smallmouth sees a smaller bait fish struggling i mean it's just instinct for him to go Whoa. you know even if you're full if you're sitting there watching a good movie and, and someone pie, and someone pie. puts a really nice piece of pecan pie right beside you with some ice cream on it and a glass of milk. I mean, you could be stuffed to the gills, but that pie's gonna sit there and look at you and talk to you and mm. say, mmm, my good. You ain't it. You remember when your parents told you you were going fishing and you couldn't sleep? Mm hmm I mean, all night long, you, so you my lay awake. My, or my dad, especially my granddad and my grandmother. I couldn't sleep at all. Man. That's a small man, that's a nice yeah, one. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, he's making a run. He's making yeah, a run. Just let him pull. Stay out of that let motor. Pull. Let him pull. I'm playing him. They are just fighters. They will not give up, and there's no doubt about it when you have one on the line. That's a good fish, ain't it? Yes, it is. That's a hog right there, boys. Let me get him up here a little bit. They're just mean. I mean, they have, they have a reputation, you know. I'd tire him out, because. Yeah, I'm not going to. That, that, Whoa! That's a nice one. Well, that was worth the drive one. Oh man, right back in the creeks here. He's not done yeah, yet. No, that's a that's a that's a pig. Dude. Hey, I'm gonna set this drag a little lighter. I know that. I would. I would. He's not ready I yet. I wish I'm you. Sure. All right, I'm gonna try to walk him right on up here. Oh, let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. He's the best fighting black bass. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, sir. How about that? All right, brother. How Look at that. That's that? a pig, pig, pig. Isn't that pretty? Mm-hmm. Oh, Lee. Okay. Let me just let me just Back taste. Back to the creek. Who would know? We did this last year, and as you know, any fishing trip can 
Sometimes work out, sometimes not. And I was a little skeptical of the float and fly because I've been burned on it before, but when it happens, it happens. And I tell you what, now, I don't have, any, I don't have anything against live bait, but that is awful fun. Now that's Beauty. a beautiful fish right there. The last couple of years has gotten a lot more popular. You know, three or four years ago, you hardly saw anybody fishing it. Now you see lots more people fishing it, but it works too. How about that? Beautiful fish. Good job. Thank you very much. Let's turn him loose. Oh, what a nice fish. That'll get you, that'll get you fired back up. Lee, I want to thank you for being an excellent smallmouth guide taking us out today and showing us this technique. But one fish like that is worth a trip. Mm -hmm. It was a good day. Thank you, buddy. All right. I enjoyed it.